What up, Ryan Mills presents. Happy New Year, 2024. Um, wanted to give you a little insight into the song Illuminate that is out now, and uh, you know, thanks for listening, thanks for checking it out. But uh, the story behind it a little bit. So I finished up a song with Rex called Keep It 100. Um, it was featuring Jackson Whalen, LMNO, produced by First Official. Um, DJ Slip Wax was on there too. And, uh, so we finished up that song and then Rex was like, hey, if you want to work again, let me know. Um, we can do something. And, um, I had an idea to get him on this song with, uh, Project Parallels. This is like a live jazz instrumental group that, um, is composed by Jesse Smitaro and um john aruda and these guys um are just brilliant musicians and very extremely talented within what they do for um their part of the song especially um but i've been friends and working with quill music for a very long time and quill music is the artist that's kind of built within project parallels it's like the main um producer so we've been friends for a long time and i know ver his music very well so and the ability to for him to like you know incorporate so many different styles of music and like tones and kind of the arrangement of like um music um i really wanted to showcase his abilities in my catalog so that people that listen to the other artists that I've featured that might tiptoe into my um, catalog, they might discover this amazing production talent that is Quill Music and John Aruda in Project Parallels. And basically, um, you know, Rex is a well-established hip-hop artist. He's done so many different hip-hop songs and so many different features that it, it was like really it'd be really important it was really important to me to like try and put him on a song that's um gonna elevate like his listeners because he's got a lot of them and um with this song illuminate we were able to like really like bring it back to like live instrumentation and just like really classic styles of hip-hop um because that's the era where Rex is really known from. And to keep up with that, you know, working with Wordsworth, um, I wanted to find somebody that was on that same level of Rex, if possible, that, you know, has been around as long and has some kind of, you know, well-developed following in hip-hop that's, you know, specific to themselves. Um Wordsworth definitely has that with the Lyricist Lounge. There's a lot of people that might know Lyricist Lounge, but don't distinguish Wordsworth enough. And I don't know how that happens because he's such like a special voice um, in hip hop. And uh, he's just so elaborate in some of his raps. So maybe you get lost in um, that because like, it's just hard to connect to those artists. Um, to discover their new music and stuff unless it really takes off if you are looking for a discovery on wordsworth you know dig beyond uh the lyricist lounge that that newer project with master ace is really amazing and uh beyond the songs that i featured on the playlist um there's a lot of good ones on there um but yeah he's been around forever so there's just a lot out there that you could discover and that's the coolest thing about working with Rex and Wordsworth is that they have their own legacies and there's so many people already attached to their legacy that like they could stumble in and discover this music also. And I really hope that happens because we're bringing it back and uh, that's where that is. So Rex jumps on and uh, I go and reach out to Quill and I'm saying, hey, man, I got this idea for this song with rex and wordsworth um i want you to you know produce it as product parallels now quill has a lot of different productions 
he's like got this group called Wooden Bone that's like a folk band he's got his own personal indie like electronic rock vibe that like he can do so many different things and he does as a performing musician like um and uh you know with all that talent um i wanted to keep him focused on the project parallels thing and try and get a song try and get this song going and uh pull him away from all that other stuff he he's working on to try and make this happen so um he agreed and he he you know said he had something that might work and uh said it to me and i was pretty much excited because i knew anything that we could work on is going to be great because they're so talented and um got it back i examined it kind of ran through it in my head about like where i saw the placements for each artist and like where what was going to make the most impact where where was the emotion in like the presentation of like his instrumental and i really think i fig found the spots where everyone shined very well um so that's kind of what i did within that is like you know what i do is like i'm a visionary and that i listen really well and i believe these artists shine very well in this song and we're able to tap into their emotions through like the arrangement that project parallels brought into that space and um it was just so incredible to feature all these guys together um anyways so yeah wordsworth did his thing rex did his thing and quill and john Ruda both did their thing and it's just another style of hip-hop that needs to be explored there's just so many different um lifestyle perspectives i guess and um i just don't think you can like discredit anyone's existence because of how they're living and um you know so trying to showcase as many styles of hip-hop and whatever you're feeling hopefully um we'll find one for you soon Just like one more thing that I forgot to say is that it was instrumentally led, meaning that like the production team was the lead part of the song. So um, that's why it sounds the way it sounds like that's the way the the intro kind of builds in where like the vocals are like suspended until it, they're already. Um, it was it was designed this way. And it's what's really missing from like a lot of people's interpretation of what was done with this music or why how it's going to perform it's supposed to be like classic music where the instrumentation comes first like in hip-hop the dj's always gotten torn down because like even though the music came first the rapper kind of grabs the mic and takes control of the the, the, the show so um in respect to that uh, I wanted to represent the music first and in the same way that on Keep It 100 I wanted to keep a verse open for DJ Slipwax to kind of do his scratch thing um, it's it's out of respect to like the instrument of the DJ that he deserves his own verse for the turntable um, in this song I wanted to represent the production team of project parallels and lead with them as the first and the main ingredient in like the development of this emotion and that's exactly what it is it's like the emotion of the music that you're hearing that builds the emotion for the vocals to be written and delivered so 
that's uh what's that's what's this is that's what the big deal here is like for it leading with the instrumentation so um i don't know why people seem to not want to get with that or like tearing that down because it's just like gives you so much more just like brings it up and down so you don't you don't really know where you're going yet and then the vocals come in after so yeah i don't know stay alive peace